catch that. Okay. Hey, Mark, just with stuff in perspective on the defensive sacks, yeah. like Patchen and Rousseau, was that yeah. them? Was it two versus one format, one versus one? Were they uh, it was one versus ones, twos versus twos. I mean, there was some, there was some times when tackles just got beat off the edge and they're around the corner and it was over. Just guys that got to learn to get off on the snap count. You know, we, we practice verbal cadence, nonverbal cadence. We practice a lot of different things in the spring just to let everybody understand how we do things. And when we go nonverbal, um, they got to learn to start at the right time. And it's been a problem really all camp. Our tackles not getting off when the ball's being snapped. Defense is key in the ball. But the offensive linemen have a way of doing it, and they're just they're getting off late. So I'm not saying they, the DNs didn't do a good job, but a lot of them were just jetting off the edge and the, and the tackle just not doing a good job of getting in position. Jared Williams, uh, six of eight, two touchdowns. The yeah. first you know, uh, section of stats you read, is that against yeah. the twos or the – He was with the two unit. The, 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 anything you read past skeleton, that those stats were threes, basically threes on threes. But we gave him two – Shots with the number two offense. Yeah, he did pretty he well. Did a, he did a nice job. How about Nikosi? Was he with the yeah. ones at all? He was both ones and twos. Uh, as it was happening, I didn't think he had many opportunities. The pockets really weren't very clean. I think he had the most sack yardage. Uh, Nikosi. Uh, Williams actually did. Williams did. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you know, Nikosi, he did take off on a run. Had a long run, which took away a lot of his sack yards. He, he I think Nikosi probably got sacked the most. Um, but he did break out on a run for, I don't know if it's 15, 20 yards or so. Did Malik did play with the second team at all? Uh, yes, he did. He got he had some ones and some twos. Uh -huh. Nikosi had, I think, four times Malik was with the ones, all right? And three times Nikosi was with the ones, and the rest of their drives were with the twos. And they went against their own team, like ones versus one, you said, yes, right? Yes, one versus ones, okay. twos versus twos. Were you talking like full, just play it out, or you spotting the ball? We spot the, we, we, we started out just putting the ball down. We don't have a lot of grass. We only have 40 really good yards of grass. So we started plus 40 and tried to drive the field. Uh, the ones in the first half of the day had zero points and barely a first down. Defense did a great job first half of practice. The twos had a little more success offensively, but it's still, if you set every snap of the twos, they probably got the better of the offense uh, in the first half. Second half, uh, the ones, the one drive the ones had on the 40, they scored a touchdown. The 16 yard, uh, start the ball at the 16 yard line, the, the ones scored, offensive scored. So the two shots they had to score touchdowns in the second half, the number one O scored. Number two O didn't do as good second half. Okay. Then we did some third down situations. Just with, no, no problem, get everybody. With Malik's stats, how would you assess it? Uh, you know, we heard the uh, I, I, We don't get too much into stats. We get into did you make the right decision? Uh, as far as you know, we we tr we have to we have to tell people who we consider a Mike linebacker to set protections <clears throat> and run game and all. That. So are you doing that right? Are you handing the ball off properly and carrying out your fake? When you do drop back to pass, are you going through the proper progression? And if it's open, are you throwing an accurate ball? You know, there, there are some balls that could be intercepted. Obviously, if you throw the ball and you hit a receiver right in the heart and it bounces up in the air and it's an interception, on the stat it's an interception. But for us, it's a, he gets a plus because he put it exactly where I asked him to put it. So we give an accuracy grade in comparison to a completion percentage grade. So we have a grade for doing their job properly. We have a grade for the technique of doing the job properly, which is mostly ball handling stuff. And then we have a grade for accuracy. That's kind of how so we're doing it. So what are your thoughts? Yeah. Uh, Malik is ahead of everybody uh, as far as just knowing what to do and how to do it. There's no question. Uh, even throughout the week, you know, the, we had nine, we had eight, eight other practices. It was very evident. If we're going to try to run our total system, he's more than well equipped to do it. Uh, Nikosi is much better, and he's getting it. And he's also, I think, seeing – if you sit there and watch what Malik does and see some of the things that he does that maybe a younger guy wouldn't have figured out, you can see where having that experience to get us in the right play can make all the difference in winning a, winning a game, winning a play, winning a game. So. But Nikosi's come a long way. Cade's come a long way. Unfortunately, Cade's got 
conjunctivitis and he wasn't able to go. He's highly contagious right now. I say it's about uh, Jaron. Uh, sometimes I use the term he doesn't know that he doesn't know. Or, you know, he's just kind of, sometimes he's just back there and feeling things. And, but when he does throw it at something, he usually hits it, which is pretty good. And, uh, and the more he, I'll say he's learning at a very rapid pace. And him being here in the spring is really good. Good for him and good for us. You yeah. touched on Jaron, and you mentioned Rousseau and, and yeah. Frierson. How did you see some of the the early enrollees <clears throat> kind of handle this? You know, being I really, the first I one. really couldn't really say on the edges. What's happening to me is I'm calling plays. Mm -hmm. I'm watching more what coverage they're in than what numbers covering who and how's he doing. When I watch film is when I really get a better feel of what the defensive kids did. But I could say to this point. We, we really like our corners. They're what we thought. They're long, athletic. They can run. They're competitive. You know, Russo, I mean, you see Russo in person. He's tall. He's got long arms. He's athletic. He's coachable. He's teachable. You know, he was kind of hidden away in this little school. And, you know, I think if he was somewhere else, it would have been a, a harder battle to get him, quite frankly. I think we stole one there. I'm trying to think of who else is here. Of course, Jaron's here. Uh, Lorenzo, I know Lorendo, Lorenzo's done some really good things. He's still a little shaky on assignments, but we ask our backs to do a lot in pass protection. It's not easy to know who to block and then how to do it, but he's coming a long way. He picked up a beautiful blitz one time. We scored a touchdown on it. Um, I tell you, uh, Hightower has shown us that he is a physical blocker and he's not afraid to catch a ball in traffic or battle when it's a tight, tightly con contested throw which is what we thought we recruited. He's exactly what we thought. Uh, Wiggins, he, he, he'll flash, he'll make plays, but then he'll have issues because he's too skinny right now. He's not strong enough yet. He's not strong enough sometimes running routes. We're, we're, putting it, we're putting hands on receivers about every snap. No one's getting free access routes like you might have gotten in high school. You got to get off a jam almost every time. So between that and trying to block stronger, more physical guys, he's struggling. But like I told him today, I said, you got the skill set, but you got to get bigger, stronger, more physical in route running and, and, and blocking. What about quarterbacks being live? Were they allowed to be No, tackled? no, they weren't live. Okay. It, it was, I think, you know, sometimes the official has to say it's a sack or not a sack. Right. I thought the officials did a great job of saying that was a sack or it wasn't a sack. And it didn't, didn't ruin the day at all. It was pretty good, actually. We'll do a couple Jeff, more. Jeff Thomas with the two touchdowns, were those make you miss things? Yeah, uh, things? some of it, so I think some, he caught some from the inside lane and some from the outside lane, you know, the slot or the outside lane. And I'll be honest with you, I was kind of picking and choosing. If I was calling a certain play and I thought it might go to the inside lane, I'd say, hey, get inside. If it was outside lane, I'd say, hey, get, get outside. You know, because he, he's, he's pretty dynamic guy with his speed and he's, he's doing a really good job. He's having a good spring. Obviously it's spring. Um, with that said, what was the sloppiness factor? Were there penalties? Was it pretty close? Not bad. Hardly any penalty. We had two flinches on the offensive line and one defensive pass interference. And that was it. And that that's, you know, when you have a full ACC crew in there, it, it really makes your scrimmages much more real and they, do, they did a good job. Um, but, uh, you know, Defense definitely came out and kicked butt in the first half. You know, second half offense on the ones anyway had had the best of it. So it was it was a good battle. But you know, it's like I told the offense. I said, you know, last year we got like 50 yards against Florida State in the first half. Got close to 300 or whatever it was second half. I mean, you know, games day's not over yet. You know, so they they did a better job. Did you keep the same one unit uh, offensive line together? Or, uh, and there was a little bit. You know. I, I, Coach Searles got frustrated a little bit and uh, threw Tyler Gauthier at tackle a couple times <laughs> because of just, they're just running right off the edge and get them. I mean, you can't run any plays. Uh, I, thought we, I thought we were, I thought the route running was good and I think we were getting open, but we, when we had time, we mostly threw and caught it pretty good. When we didn't have time, it was, you know, it was a sack. Gauthier, right tackle or left tackle? He played a little right tackle for a minute. What, what do you want to we, say? We were doing that all through, through, through spring. But it was more of a, he wasn't happy what was happening, just put him out there. Put Hayden, I think, at center. 
which is great to have you know a guy like Hayden who could step in and do that. I just wonder about next. I know next week's a spring game. Yeah. What kind of? I mean, I know that's it's hard. To, game. It's hard to figure out because like today, offense versus defense. If the drive went to five or six plays and a D lineman need, needs the sub, if we split them up, there's really no one to come off the bench. Like now we we were going ones and twos in in, in premise. But if there was a time that we just had to get a guy out of there, we, we, they, you know, the defense would sub. If you split jersey colors and the one-off defense is in one color and the, and the two defenses in a different color, then whoever's in the game, there's, there's no backups. So if a drive goes you know, a little bit more than if it goes to the fourth or fifth or sixth or seventh play, eighth play, you know, I just don't know if we'll be able to just divide them up and say, this is the, we might have to do more of what we did today to allow some type of substitution pattern. And I may, I may huddle, I may huddle every snap just because it gives a little bit of a rest in between plays instead of just bang, 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 bang. Do you feel health wise you got out of it? We were blessed. We were, hu we were hugely blessed. That's the first thing I pray for. And the first thing I, I'm thankful for when we pray afterwards is everybody came out of there good. Thanks everybody. Yep. Thanks, Mark. Thanks, Mark. Yep.